The rotational deadlift is a deadlift variation that gets us out of this hip hinge that we're used to and adds in rotational movement, which is really valuable because when you actually go in real life to pick something up or put something down, it's often not directly in front of you. Sometimes it is to the side. And so to be able to do this safely and effectively and train this movement can be really valuable and have real world application. So to do this, you will need either one dumbbell or one kettlebell. Start light and know that you will always keep this lighter than you would with more of a traditional deadlift, okay? So start with your feet parallel, hip with the part, knees soft, tall upright torso, shoulders down and back. We're gonna start with a hip hinge, drive your hips straight back behind you. And now as we do, rotate, bringing your hand over toward your opposite leg. In this position, I've got a deeper bend in my outside leg, soft bend in the one that I'm rotating toward. Back is flat, and from here, drive through your heels to stand up. Again, drive your hips back. We're gonna feel a hamstring stretch. When our hamstrings catch, now we can drive back up. If you are holding the dumbbell, or sorry, the kettlebell, you can hold it here to start, or you can start with it on the floor. I'll show you that. And here's what it would look like. You can start with a small rotation toward like the middle of your foot. And then as you get more comfortable, you can rotate more with it going toward the outside of your foot. When you put the kettlebell down, it's a little easier to grab because the um, handle is higher up than a, dead, or than a dumbbell. So I can pick it up off the floor from here or as I get comfortable with the rotation from the outside of my foot. 